once the client is gaining an understanding of deep breathing, our next order of business is to reestablish conscious control of the abdominals. Oftentimes, um, one of the main things we're trying to focus on with our clients is the ability to tighten the abs for support when we're bending over to pick things up or just during daily life, you know, during weightlifting certainly, but just, you know, any time that the client is turning or twisting, we want, the, we want our abs to, look, to tighten in order to provide a little bit of support, um, you know, during daily life. So what I'm going to do to teach this uh, and kind of get that aha moment going on for our clients so they understand what bracing means is to simply place one hand here in the stomach and one hand on the low back. Okay? What I'm going to ask the client to do is to apply pressure to the stomach, to press in, and then to resist that pressure by tightening the abs. Okay? A lot of the time you can say, I'm going to poke you in the stomach. What would you do if I were going to poke you in the stomach? All right? They're going to tighten their abs, and what's going to happen at the same time is they're going to feel the muscles of their back start to, to contract as well. So the, the hand is about here. Again, I'm applying pressure here into my stomach and I'm feeling this brace activate. All right, what that is, is the muscles of my core are tightening around my abs, like a, or I'm sorry, tightening around my spine like a weight belt to act at, in support and really to brace like we're talking about there. And with this, what I'm just going to ask the client to do is just hold for three to five seconds and release. Hold and release. Uh, once the client understands how to do this, you know, um, we're going to explain that we want them to breathe as well with this. Uh, one of the common errors that we see with bracing is the clients tend to hold their breath. All right? What I want the client to be able to do is, take, you know, nor is to establish normal breathing patterns while they're doing this brace so they can function in daily life and only use this brace when necessary. So what we're going to do is ask the client to, again, put one hand on the, one hand on the back and one hand on the stomach here. Take a deep breath through the nose, establish a brace release, holding for a second, and then just release the brace. Once again, so, um, breathe in, establish the brace, exhale, and release. Um, you know, that can occur for maybe three to five breaths just as an activation exercise. And once the client understands how to do this correctly, once you work through that with them several times during a session, you know, you can assign that as homework, that's something that they can do throughout the day, and you can explain that by bracing, they're actually, you know, working to strengthen their abs um, through, you know, generating a static contraction. Um, usually that's something that will resonate with clients and that will, you know, that they will actually follow. Um, in terms of training, what we can do is um, throw this into our warm-up, right? So whereas we talked about doing the deep breathing as uh, part of the warm-up before, we can simply incorporate the brace by putting one hand under the low back here, one hand on the stomach, again, not pressing the back end of the floor necessarily, still a slight arch, but, you know, again, applying pressure down here while the client's feeling their back extensors tight. Again, breathing in, holding, and releasing. Breathing in, holding, and releasing. Once the client's gained proficiency in this, um, the next progression is to incorporate movement of the extremities. So what we want the client to do is to be able to maintain this brace, stabilize the at, or stabilize the torso in the pelvis while moving the extremities. So I'm going to ask the client um, to brace and simply perform a march. Okay, maybe two and release. Brace, march, and release. As you go along, you can simply add reps to this. Uh, generally, we'll start with maybe eight reps, six to eight reps on each side add two per week. Um, once the client gains proficiency here, the next step would be to raise the feet into the air. Once again, brace, tap in front, and release. Again, by that time, the client's going to have a pretty good understanding of bracing, and then we could start to get this back into, you know, planking progressions, standing exercise, things that involve a little more stress to the abdominals with conscious control, and that's our step four.